Hi guys, this is going to be a quick video for those of you who have been struggling with PC performance in Hogwarts Legacy. These three simple steps are guaranteed to get rid of your current stutter and crash issues for good. I actually accidentally stumbled upon this Reddit post that outlined these three steps, so a huge shout out to Fried Bong Water who made this post. Hundreds of players, including me, tried these three steps and all of us have not seen a single stutter knocking us down to like 10 FPS or whatever we had before since. Now this fix will only address the stutters and the crazy FPS drops. It will not fix the overall poor optimization, which should allow people like me with GTX 3080 Ti to run the game at 1440p on Ultra at 60 FPS. For this fix, unfortunately, we will have to wait for Avalanche to come through. Okay, and now without further ado, let's jump into the three steps. So the step number one is turning on your hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. You can do this in Windows by going into your taskbar, searching for graphics settings, and then turning the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on. Keep in mind that you will have to restart your PC for this to take effect. So that's step number one. Now on to step number two. Navigate to your app data folder, which is located on your main drive where you installed Windows. For me, that's the C drive. Um, and go to users, then your username, then app data, local, Hogwarts legacy, saved, config, and Windows no editor. I will post the full path in the description below so you can easily follow. If you can't see the app data folder, you will first have to allow your system to show hidden folders. You can do this by going again into your taskbar and searching for file explorer options. And then you go into the view tab and then enabling show hidden files, folders and drives in the hidden files and folders section. Hit apply and you should be able to see the app folder now. Now going back to the main folder, you want to look for a file called engine.ini. What you want to do with this folder first is to back it up by copy and pasting it in some other location. I created a backup folder in my documents where I can just copy this file and paste it in there so that it's safe for any future use if needed. Now that the file is safely backed up, what you want to do is to right click it and then open with a notepad. Now what you want to do in this file is to scroll all the way down to the bottom Copy the few lines of text from the description in this video and then paste it all the way down to the bottom. You can see that the formatting is not the same as the rest of the file, but that's perfectly fine. The file will be able to deal with it just fine. Now, if your graphic card has less than 8 gigabyte of VRAM, use 3072 in your streaming pool size. If your graphic card has more than 8 gigabytes of VRAM, then what you want to do is to use 4096 here. Now you just go into the file, save the file and close it. The third step is very easy and only applies to Nvidia users. What you want to do is right click on your desktop, go to Nvidia control panel, then go to manage 3D settings and in the global settings, what you want to do is to change the shader cache size from the default or whatever you have in there uh, to 10 gigabytes. Then you just apply and you should be good to go. And that's it guys, three simple steps that will hopefully take care of your stutter and crash issues with Hogwarts Legacy. If you found this video helpful, give it a like and subscribe for more gaming tips and tricks. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one.